Hey guys and welcome back to the Heroes Global Summer Circuit. This is the C Regionals happening right now. My name is Arctic Shadow and you guys are tuning in to the live stream. I'm here on site as mentioned. As you saw earlier on, we managed to get Bun Bun guys. So Bun Bun hype. Give Bun Bun. We finally did it. He was on stream. We just did witness Relics beating out Renovasho, the defending champions. 2-0. Really convincing wins as well. Uh, and their group stage to push them to first place. Here over on this game, the next one, we're going to have Hot Hit Gaming going up against Team Black Sheep 5, okay? So these two teams are... Oh, the draft is actually already done. So yeah, Team Black Sheep 5 against Team Hot Hit Gaming. These two teams coming into this were actually the, I guess you can say, lower seeded teams. So... They will be battling out for, uh, I can you can say like, you know, confirmation that they will be in the playoffs tomorrow. Uh, of course, Black Sheep 5, if they win this and they win against Renovasho, they can act, they could actually potentially still make it to first place. It really depends on whether Relics actually loses out to Hot Hit Gaming later on as well. So still lots to play for, for sure, uh, between these two teams. But this, in fact, going to be Black Sheep 5 against Hot Hit Gaming. The number one seeded Malaysian team against the number two seeded Thai team. Uh, the draft is actually already done. Let's take a quick look at what happened and what went down there. Uh, Ilden and Tiranda was banned out by Black Sheep 5, along with Sonia and Fausa being banned out by Hot Head Gaming. And the lineup for both sides will be Zul, Muradin, Liming, Rega, and Chen for Black Sheep 5. That's something interesting. We haven't seen the Chen in quite a while, so finally we are going to be able to see a Chen being picked up here by Black Sheep 5. So I think they're releasing out their, their, their hidden strategies and you know things that they have been training with because I do believe that uh, in one of the earlier qualifiers or finals, they did pick up the Chen as well in one of the 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 competitions. Over on Hot Head Gaming, they do go with a double support in the form of Tasada and Karazim along with the front lines of Rexa, Artis and Keltas in the back line. So that Rexa... It's pretty interesting here, guys. You know, we, we haven't seen a Rexa neither. And Hot Hit Gaming now going out with the Rexa. So these two teams are pulling out their trump cards, maybe. Just pulling it out and trying to play along with it. We do not see an ETC, even though it wasn't banned out, which is interesting. We are going to see an Artist instead, which again, I've mentioned before. I think Artist is a pretty strong hero after the new buffs. So I think it's definitely a viable pickup. They do have Rexa along with the Boo Boo the Bear. I know that's not her name, by the way, guys. I know her name is um, Misha, but I call her Boo Boo the bear uh, just because Yogi Bear is the father so Keltas uh, in the back lines as well to provide the damage uh, you know mage for mage leaming for Keltas as they always say uh, and Artis in the front lines you know they have the dual support in Karazim and Tasada as well so it's gonna be a pretty even game to be honest but I think personally I think Hot Hit Gaming has the draft here I think I like the draft a little bit better just because um they have the dual support in Karzim and Tasada, and I think Rexa is also one of those heroes just just a little bit unutilized. You know, it's a bit looked down upon. And for a map like again, Dragonshire. So apparently, we're just going to be casting Dragonshire throughout this entire day because every single matchup. This is going to be the fourth fourth matchup, and even that one extra game that we casted earlier on was in fact Dragonshire. So. Uh, yeah, we're going to go into this. I believe the teams have actually already joined up. We're just waiting for the game to start up here. So yeah, Black Sheep 5 against Hot Hit Gaming. Who will be able to come out on top? This is for the third seed. Well, the, to tie for third seed because Renovasho just lost as well. So whoever wins this will be tied for second uh, place uh, going against Renovasho. So apparently they are just having a few toilet breaks, I believe. So just bear with us, guys, as they do join up in the room game and we get started soon. So if you're just tuning in, this is the Heroes Global Summer Circuit. This is the C Regionals where we're looking for one team to represent Southeast Asia in the DreamHack uh, Global Finals happening, I think, sometime next month. Um, Relics right now, top of Group A. Group 1 with Renovasho in 2nd. The winner of this group will tie them for 2nd. For I mean the winner of this game. Over on Group B, we I think Sabun lost out to GDG9. Can I get an update on that game? Possibly. 
Okay, yeah. So we'll get an update for you on that uh, between what went down between GDG9 and Sabun. I do know that they were up one game earlier on, while Renovasio uh, 2 will be taking on Resurgence later on. I think as this game goes on as well. So uh, no update just yet on GDG9 and Sabun. But yeah, so GDG9 and Sabun were the top of their groups respectively with 3 points each. But I think GDG9 going into the match, they were 1-0 up. So they should be fine and I think they will be able to take it 2-0 themselves as well. But yeah, big shout outs to our sponsors, uh, Razer, our official peripheral sponsor, along with XSplit, our official streaming partner. Thank you to you guys. Without you guys, we wouldn't be able to bring you guys this live broadcast as well. Uh, I'm not sure what just happened. The game started and I think it's bugged, guys. I think it's bugged. So the game started, we saw the loading screen and then we all just DC. So I think they're going to remake into the game. So again, sorry for some of those tech issues. Uh, I just realized I showed my battle tag on stream. I hope I don't get flooded by friend requests. But uh, yeah, I think the game crashed. So we are going to rejoin and load up right now. So again, I do apologize for that. Oh, my hair is messy, but yeah. Okay. Uh, we are just waiting for the game to load up again. Uh, teams are joining up. Hopefully, they will be able to fix this. Uh, this bug will be settled with. Uh, so, yeah, GDG9 did, in fact, go 2-0 against Sabun Gaming. They weren't able to keep up their momentum after beating out Resurgence. So, GDG9 really looking strong coming from the Thailand first seed. As I did mention, you know, when I was, when I was casting the Thailand teams, I, no I did notice that they were playing really, really well. And I think they, they, they had a few unorthodox strats to help with that. So, coming into this competition... Uh, they, they, they are looking really, really strong. So they are top of their group right now with Sabun being in second place. Uh, Renovasio going up, Renovasio 2, the resistance, going up against Resurgence, I think concurrently with this matchup. So we'll give you an update on that as we go along as well. If Resurgence is able to win out their matchup, they will tie for second place alongside Sabun. And then their final game will be against GDG9. And should Sabun beat out uh, Renovasio 2 as well, we will have a three-way tie for first place guys each team will have gone 2-0 well considering if each game goes 2-0 each, each matchup goes 2-0 and Sabun beats out uh, Renovasio 2-0 and GDG9 loses to Resurgence 2-0 we will have a three-way tie for first place over in Group B uh, we will get back to you on what happens when there's a three-way tie of course but right now we're still waiting for the game to load up everyone is readying up and we should be getting started really, really soon. Again, if you're just tuning in, Heroes Global Summer Circuit coming your way. See Regionals happening right now. As you can see, the match is probably loading up this time. Yes, we will, in fact, get to load up. So it is going to be Dragonshire. G, uh, Hothead Gaming going up against Black Sheep 5. This is essentially the game for playoffs because the losing team... I think will basically already be knocked out. Well, not 100%, but you can say so going into the final game where both these teams have really hard matchups in their final lineups going up against Relics as well as Renovatio. So it's going to be pretty tough for them. So this is basically to secure themselves qualification into the playoffs happening tomorrow. So as you can see here, the game is about to start up. Let's go straight into it. We have on the blue side, Black Sheep 5. The Kaza are going to be on the Chen. Scrub is going to be playing Li Ming. Yamato on the Zul. Bebe Rexa is going to be on the Rega. I know, actually no. Safira is going to be on the Rega. That's interesting. Bebe Rexa is going to be on the Muradin. So they did a bit of a swap around in terms of the roles because I do know that Safira is the tank player for his team. Over on the red team though, Hot Hit Gaming, Alice, it, who is in fact is a girl, she's not using like a fake name or something, is playing the Tasada. Pet Noi MK, I have never seen that name before, so I think it's new. I think she's a sub here, Pet Noi MK, is going to be on the Kel uh, Keltas. Peiji is going to be on the Rexa, Arata is going to be on, who is that? That's a really cool skin. Is that Artis? I believe it is Artis. That's a really cool skin. But yeah, TNK is going to be on the Karazim. So this is going to be the full line for both sides. That Artis skin is really cool though. With that bat. We see Artis now going in as we do see a clash about to happen. Peiji's boo-boo. Get away. Run, bear. 
It is a really annoying hero and a really annoying bear to deal with as well. Bottom lane, we do see Sephira rotating around. Gonna get caught off here. Doesn't get rooted. Doesn't get tornadoed as well. Then doing a really good job in juking them out. Baby Rex are missing out that storm boat. Those need to be on point if they look to win this game. Arata at the bottom though. Gonna try and do as much damage as he can as they just continue rotating around between these two lanes right now. Rexa at the top going up against Chen and look at that drunk old Dikerza. Just drinking in front of Peiji. Nothing that he can do about it at all. Middle lane we do see Alice as well as the rest of his team able to take out the creep wave. Blue side they are just gonna rotate towards that bottom first set of shrines. Are gonna spawn out. Arch is now gonna spot out to Muradin. He's going to be able to root him down. Zul himself going to throw out the root hit too. Here comes the totem. Arata taking quite a bit of damage. But with the heals, he should be just very well fine. Leaming at the bottom will take control of this bottom moonshine. There comes the arcane orb along with the magic missile. Ar Arata dropping pretty low but he is an artist. So he's going to be fine. He's going to be able to take control of this moonshine. Blue team weren't able to capitalize on that and take out that bottom moonshine just in the nick of time. Top lane though. Because uh, has to be careful. He's making his way into that shine to try and take it out. But the Boo Boo the Bear is there to stop it out. Yamato is at the middle along with Bibirexa, preventing Alice from getting the Dragon Knight. And it should be fine. Bottom lane, Sephira coming in with the damage. Yamato coming in to help him as well with the push. Here comes Baby Rexa on the Murad. They're going to spot out TNK. Stormboat going to be used as well, but maybe not the best of scenarios. He is going to juke around. Root not going to connect there as the Dragon Knight actually is going to be stolen now by Alice. Very well played there by the middle uh, lane, Alice. And he goes to work on the tower. We'll be able to kick Muradin away. Poor Baby Rexa. And she will be able to get one tower and push out the lane as well. Top lane, still Chen going up against the Rexa. I think Rexa is having a pretty decent time going up against the Kurza who just continuously drinks and drinks. Bottom lane though, we're going to see Artis now doing quite a bit of damage onto Paddy Mech. MK and down goes Kiltas. Baby Rexa will be able to push forward further. TNK will be able to blink to his creeps to safety and behind the walls. Here comes Alice from the background, going to use the Psionic Storm, but it's not going to really do much there. Oracle is going to be thrown out as well just to scout him out. Baby Rexa rotating back towards that middle lane. And he will be just fine. So first blood kill going in favor of Black Sheep 5 right now, going up against Hothead Gaming. Because uh, Chen just drinking and drinking at his top lane. At one point, you'd think he just fall flat on his belly with all the drinking that he does. Now in the lane, Yamato coming out with the Zul, just continuing to push down this middle lane as we do see continuous rotations. They are going to hit towards these siege minions to pick up a couple of siege camps as well. It's going to help them with the push. Red team though, they are going to get a set of their own. And again, more rotation towards the bottom as we do see Rhaegar coming down, healing up Yamato. With the skeletons as well, now pushing down this bottom, they should be able to take out these towers. As it does look like they are falling pretty quickly, along with the siege minions coming along. Top lane again, Chen is doing Chen things, drinking his beer, and he should be fine at the top lane. We do see more siege camps being taken by the red side, though, as the blue team knocks down at this bottom. Gonna be able to take down this tower along with the gates and maybe even the fort. Not if Kiltas has something to say, though. He comes towards that bottom, he's rotating around. Stun now, connecting on Baby Rexa. He has to be careful, we'll have to back off. Living Bomb gonna bring him down pretty low. But she will, he will be fine. He will be able to back off the Kurza now at the top lane. Again, just drinking and drinking. Peiji is just having such a horrible time against him. Middle lane though. Safira chasing down Alice. Will he be able to take him down though? I don't think so. The shield is going to be used and he should be just fine. Hot Hit Gaming doing a really good job with those camps though. Will be able to take down the bottom set of Siege minions as well. And that's going to further help them out. Here comes Scrub from the sidelines. Magic Missile is not going to connect. Yamato actually wants to go in here. Has to be careful. Going to get shielded up. Flames right now. Going to connect on three. Keltas running for his life. Baby Rex are chasing him down. No heals just yet. Rega finally going to be able to keep him alive as Muradin finishes off Keltas. TNK running back to the Moonwell. Going to be able to tappy tappy there. As Alice coming in from the bottom lane. Pushing up as well. Oracle going to be used to try and take control of this bottom Moonshine. As Baby Rexa comes in to stop it. No Stombo just yet. There you go. Comes out. Dimensional Shift going to be used probably. He's going to be able to shield himself back up. Root now going to connect onto Baby Rexa who is in a bit of trouble. Here comes Yamato from the side though. Stombo now going to be thrown out onto Arata who is taking, taking quite a bit of damage. Karazim is trying to keep him alive. Will not be able to do so and they will go down. Now TNK running for his life. 
Unfortunately for him, he will lose uh, the Artist at the bottom lane already. And it is going to be a 3-0 lead in favor of Team Black Sheep 5 right now. They are going to reach that level 10 soon. Chen now doing 10 things yet again onto Peiji. Being so annoying. And this is Rexa just unable to deal with him right now. The blue side, they are rotating towards the middle. We'll take out two towers. That's going to give them level 10. Ancestral healing instantly picked up by Rega. Needs to pop it on himself right now. In fact, did not actually do it. Not to show what he was doing there. Sephiria needed to get off the ancestral healing on himself. I think he thought he could survive, but the living bomb just ultimately finishing him off. Top lane though, Peiji, he's gonna get taken down as Dikurza jumps into the back lines of the walls. He's just gonna be drinking here and drinking as he is finally gonna get away. Bottom lane though, Murad, gonna get caught here by the tornado. And again, a 4-1 advantage in favor of the blue team right now. They will get control of the sun shrine at the top, but the red moon shrine does go in favor of the red team and it's gonna help them. So taking a quick look at a, those Talentiers, Ancestral Healing being picked up by um, Rega. I do believe it's the Keg. Yep, the Keg being picked up by Chen. Uh, Zul is going to be picked, picking up the Skeletal Mages instead of the Poison Nova. Disintegrate on the Li Meng along with Muradin with the Avatar, I believe. As we do see him just dwarf toss himself in there. Zul now making his way towards the middle as they do control both shrines just for a short time though. They will get away with it. Now the cake now pushing Arata all the way back and back. They have him in the position he want him to be. And down he goes. Now Dimension of Shift going to be used by Alice. But I don't think it's going to keep her alive as down she f dies as well in that middle. So it's going to be a nice two kill sweep for the red team. I mean for the blue side. And over in the red team, let's take a quick look at some of the talent pickups here. I do think it's Death Call. Immortal Call going to be picked up by Artis. Uh for his level 10 tier. I mean, it summons in Dragosa. He's going to go be the dragon uh, for his heroic, however. Divine Palm, I believe, being picked up by Karazim. Rexa, what's he going to be picking up? He's going to pick up the Bestial Rare Force Wall on Tassada. And again, you know, uh, Phoenix is going to be picked up by Kiltas as well. Now, both, now the blue side are going to get control of both these shrines. I don't think they're going to be able to get control of it just yet as TNK is there to pick up the bottom moon shrine. As we do see a gank about to happen, we do see a force wall at that middle. Artist could be in some trouble yet again here as he gets rooted. Alice is trying to keep him alive as best as he can. Tornado going to connect here, but Disintegrate going to be too much there as the reset is going to be picked up by Li Meng. Will they follow through with this and continue on with the push though? I don't think so, not just for the meantime. They are going to get their level 13 and level 13 talents here though. Rhaegar now heading towards the bottom, going to be able to pick up the bottom Moonshine. That's going to help them uh, distract them a little bit. Rexa at the top still going with toe-to-toe -to -toe with Chen. Uh, and I believe it is being picked up by Boo Boo the Bear. So that bear doing work now. Chess Chen just continues drinking. Here comes Karazim kicking away at Dikurza, who's taking quite a bit of damage. We'll have to back off. He uses the keg though. Pushes TNK way back here. He could be in some trouble. Scrub gonna try and finish him off. No, TNK will be able to blink out of there. Arcane Ob not gonna connect. Peiji with the Boo Boo gonna be able to stun onto a three. Barely Rexa dropping low. No ancestral healing just yet as Rhaegar isn't here. He will be able to back off to safety though as the red team now gets both these shrines. Arata at this middle lane himself could be in some trouble. Root in onto Dikurza. No follow up and no follow through here as the blue team, the entire blue team actually going to converge in onto this middle lane. The shrine are activated for both the red team here and the blue side has to be extremely careful. He's going to back, get back and tap on that Moonwell. Safira is going to try and cancel out this channel. Here comes the blue side. The mages are going to be used up here. Dimensional shift by that uh, Tassada as well. But the Disintegrate doing so much damage. Arata dropping really low. Will be able to finish him off. In goes the Chen. Finishes him off. Gets the reset on the Li Meng. And Re Li Meng goes in. Finishes off the Rexa as well. Another reset. Kiltas fell earlier, fell earlier on. Baby Rexa now heading towards the top lane. We'll be able to pick up on the top Sunshine Rail. Rhaegar picks up on the bottom Moonshine. That's going to give them the advantage. And the Dragon at the middle. Second Dragon going to go in favor of Team Black Sheep 5 as they do a really good job getting that Clash. Pulling 10 to 1 a hit now in terms of kills. They will be able to pick off this top towers and probably top forts as well while the Dragon Knight hits down at the middle fort. The Curse though has to be careful. That's not want to just give this away. Here comes the rest of his team though. Arcane Op is there, is there as well. A kick on Arata to push him away. Here comes Safira with the Wolf going in for the forts. They should be able to get it. Phoenix is going to be used to try and zone them out a little bit but the Curse is already going to drop. A nice kick there on TNK as well as Karzim gets forced back 
The towers and the forts are going to fall at the middle. They will not be able to secure the top one though. As it does look like they are rotating towards the bot. Just 1% left on the Kurzus Dragonite. However, as he goes in with one final Dragon Breath. Here comes the Dwarf Toss in by Baby Rexa. Stunned in onto TNK. Here comes Chen with the Keg as well. Pushing Arata all the way back. They should be able to get the kill off Zul with the Root. And the follow-up mage is going to be used to try and block them off right now. Baby Rexa goes in though and doesn't stop him. Disintegrate going to be thrown up. And the nice Divine Palm going to keep Ka uh, Kaotas alive. Not for long, however, as he gets bursted down. Nice two hero pick off. Divine Palm not going to be used enough to survive there. Rexar was at the top lane the entire time, and unfortunately for them, they lose another two kills as Black Shifai pulls further ahead. One talent here ahead right now. Level 17 going to be picked up by them as well as they picked up another siege camp. Black Shifai just pulling ahead. Hot Hit Gaming having a difficult, difficult time in this matchup right now. And it's looking really grim for Team uh, Hot Hit Gaming as of this moment. So Black Sheep 5 again doing a really really good job this time around. Just securing the wins so far. And they're securing this, uh, the camps as well on their side. They will be able to pick up the bottom set of camps along with these couple siege minions. Will they push along with it though? That is the question. It doesn't look like they want to do with that just yet. Maybe. Maybe so. Here comes Chen coming into the background. They do have all their ulties ready. Here comes Chen. He wants that kill us. He jumps in with the keg now, pushing them back. Mage is going to be used now again. Disintegrate going to be thrown out. Lots of damage coming up. Kill is going to throw out the Phoenix. Divine Pump on the kill us, but I don't think it's going to be enough to keep her alive. Tornado going to be used in the background as down goes the Artist Force Wall as well, blocking out the exit of the red team. In fact, as the blue team now resets again onto that Leeming, they will take down two in the form of Artist and Kill us yet again. Here comes lots of Siege Creeps as well. They're going to be able to push down these outer towers and this keep pretty easily. In goes Dikurza jumping in on TNK who's taking quite a bit of damage. Nice force wall blocking their exit again but the red team, they're just in disarray right now. As another stun coming out onto Pagey. Rexa taking quite a bit of damage. There you go, another disintegrate and down he goes. Hot Hit Gaming just put the, uh, not being able to keep up with the defense here. It does look like BS5 will have to back off, not before they take the keep though. Yamato finishing it off. The Kurs are still in the fray of things. Root going to connect here as if Clash just doesn't want to end. They go in on Arata yet again. Arata just spawning out. Death Timer again. Boom. Spawn that dies for 40 seconds, responds for 5 seconds and dies again. Tough day for Aratus. You have to say. As now the blue side, they will be able to take down the bottom keep again, further extending their three level advantage as they push back towards that middle lane. They are going to get control of both shrines yet again, and Chen is going to be able to pick himself up the Dragon Knight. That's just going to further extend their lead. They should be able to push down this middle. Hot Hit Gaming just having a really hard time here in this matchup. I don't think they're going to be able to defend against this Dragon Knight as well. They may very well just GG it here. Zul is at the top lane though, pushing down this upper fort. Not too sure if that's the right idea. I think he should make his way towards that middle to help out his team. These towers are dropping like flies though, as the Kurza is pushing up against it. The charge is not going to connect with the wall actually blocking it out. Because it has to back off, he needs to be careful there. Baby Rex is still there as well. Artis, he looks tiny from this angle. Now pushing in, the, the bear just being a nuisance. Of course, we're not actually doing much there. Here comes Yamato coming in from the side after taking on the upper fort. Artis is actually at the top lane, so this will be the time to fight. We do see a kickback by, by, on, onto Peiji by the Dragon Knight as they just go for the keep. Objective gaming right now. No kick just yet. Because are just drinking up now. Root gonna be used. Ancestral healing gonna be popped up onto Yamato. Here comes the kick. Nice disintegrate gonna be used as down goes Artis. He has been, I think he has the highest death timer so far on his team as he falls yet again. Pitnoy MK on the Keltas running for his life. He's gonna get shoot up by Tasada. But now in the back lines, we do see Rexa dropping really, really low. No Define Palm just yet. He gets taken down. Down he goes, that Rexa. Al is now running for his life towards the wrong way though. Yamato taking quite a bit of damage. Kiltas will be able to finally finish him off. Disintegrate going to be used yet again as Kiltas probably not going to survive this. Here comes the magic missiles. But the blue team, they're diving a little bit too deep. They're all really low on HP. They need those minions to push out. Alice in some trouble himself. Coming up into the front lines. Here comes Chen. They're just knocking away at this core and I think it is going to be GG. There's nothing the red team can do about it. Artis is going to respawn. But will we see him die yet again? I don't think so. 
Again, Scrub just fully focusing down this card. This is going to be GG and Team Black Sheep 5 will take game number one against Hot Head Gaming. A really well played game by them. Convincing victory as well. 15 minutes in. Just overall good performance there. Hot Head Gaming just fell too far behind too quickly. And unfortunately for them, they will lose out in the first matchup. I mean, the first game of their best of three matchup. So right now, Black Sheep 5 are one game away from, I think, securing, basically securing the slot into the playoffs tomorrow. So do make sure you stay tuned, guys. I don't think there was much to say about that clash there. Uh, we do have a replay. So we do have a replay of the last fight. Let's take a look at what happened there. Um... As you can see here, uh, nice push by the keg. You know, Artis just got rooted there in place. Disintegrate took him down. He got the resets, blinked in. Another set of Disintegrate going to be used there, but he was in the background getting hit down by the bear. Here they went for chase onto the Rexa, who tried to keep himself alive for as long as possible. Unfortunately for him, he just fell ultimately anyway, giving the resets yet again. Alice trying to run around to the side there. Yamato getting caught off by Keltas, and the burst was just a bit too much to deal with, and he fell. But again, with the resets from Li Meng, they were able to finish down the Keltas and down he went and that was basically it and that was basically GG so again congratulations to Best 5 for winning the first game in this best of 3 series we will be going for a short break as we prepare for game number 2 guys so make sure you guys stay tuned you are watching to Heroes Global Summer Circuit this is the C Regionals Back up with the dunk onto Arata. My goodness Li Ming takes taken down just like that and Alice now in full retreat mode but look at that, the Inferno burning, and he goes down. It's going to be a four-man team wipe in favor of team...